This might be <laughs> the most rare career in the world. Hey, grande máquina, foto da Well, we gotta twerk first. Like, what? Is okay, so supposedly, um, blue. there's seven Carrera GTs and a McLaren P1 in here. Ooh. We got set for camera, man. I shouldn't have got fat. Hello. How are you? It's Monday. Beginning of a new vlog. I'm here in Britain. Just kidding. I'm in Indiana. All right. Uh, we're off to uh, go see my mate's new flat. Well, it's not new, but it's getting uh, renovated. And then uh, off to the store. Um, then I'm going to come home and finish watching the Met Gala because the Met Gala is happening today. Oh. Dear me, I meant to shave before I freaking left out the door. Bloody hell. Alright. Oh well. See you mates in a minute. Okay, I am leaving their apartment right now. But ah copyright! Okay, anyways. I am leaving their apartment right now, but I was like, you know what? Not yet. Not yet. It looks nice though, but not yet. Gotta wait a little longer, and then I want to do like a whole almost like MTV crib style um, because I have footage from before anything got done. I'm pretty sure. If not, um, definitely find some from somebody. So um, yeah. Anyways, that's the plan. Uh, now I'm off to the store and. Yeah. Also, this week, let me tell you, Met Gala review is coming. It'll be in some portion of this vlog. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know if I want to make it a whole separate video because then that might introduce me to the fashion community. And while I do love fashion, would be faster to go this way. Um, while I do love fashion, ah! oh no, it's not busted. Um, it is very zoomed in though. This camera's, uh, uh, this camera's pretty durable. It did just fall pretty hard. Anyways, what was I saying? Um, I do love fashion. I don't know if I'm good enough to hang out with the fashion community. So, um, yeah. I'll get there. I'm gonna get there. Um, I have very loose plans, you know what? I'm going to whisper this because I don't want anything to go wrong, but I have very loose plans to go to um, Paris Fashion Week next year, but shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Okay? Okay. Okay, so we need to come in here. I need Oreos because freaking ants are getting everywhere in our house. And they got into the Oreos, which that upsets me. And yes, I am on a whole like fitness journey, blah, blah, blah. But don't act like I'm not gonna have some Oreos. I'm gonna have some Oreos if I want to, and the fitness is just gonna have to have a problem with it. But um, uh, I need that and some more exfoliant because if you don't exfoliate when you take a shower, you're still dirty. Don't at me. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I need out of here. Maybe. I forgot my watch, my Apple Watch at home. I feel naked. I feel like robbed and just incorrect. I never forget my watch. Never, ever, ever. These right here, these are the best. Uh, this one though, like this bottom one, is more powerful. Uh, it's like, has like the scale on it or whatever right here. That one's deep. I'm um, just not trying to like scratch my skin off or anything. The big embarrassment. Whole time I'm in that store shopping away and guess what? I left my phone and my wallet in the car. So I had to be that person like, I forget my stuff. I had to run back out to my car while they stand there and guard my stuff so nobody checks it out or whatever. <sighs> Shame. Anyways, we're on the way home. I'll see you when we get there. 
Uh, Tuesday. I think you know what that means. I feel like my vlogs are getting a little repetitive, um, and I'm going to do something about that, I promise. Um, might be a different structure to it. I don't know. Anyways, um, and before you say, isn't that the same red shirt he had on yesterday? It is. And what about it? Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Uh, real reason being I'm washing clothes and I'm not about to dirty more clothes. Just, uh, you know. If you want, you know. Yeah, you know. All right, see you in a second. Okay, bye. Shouldn't have got fat. <laughs> all right, uh, this workout all done. I don't know, what am I saying? That's workout all done. You saw me struggling. I hate, like, I'm working on my arms. I think I have a, um, I don't know, I have I do, I have like baby, stupid, weak arms. Um, and that will change for sure. That's one thing I really want to focus on, and we uh, we talked about it, so I think we're going to be focusing on that a lot more. I just want more definition to it and work harder on my arms, but um, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm about to be off to maybe help uh, Frank with something, and uh, yeah. Okay, here's the real embarrassing thing. Uh, I gotta come back to Walmart because I gotta grab my sister a book bag, apparently. Um, and I really do have the exact same thing I had on yesterday. Uh, well, not the exact same, same shirt on I had on yesterday, but um, here's what we're not gonna do this time. This time we're not gonna forget my wallet and my phone in the car. And we're actually gonna be prepared when we go to the store. Found a book bag. Um, I'm just gonna get her a neutral one. <laughs> this is the one she's getting. You don't have to deal. It's black. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay, uh, I was gonna get something, I had to get something to eat. I was gonna get, 
I don't know what I was gonna get, but I was literally right across the street from the mall, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get Shake Shack because it's literally right here. But um, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Um, and I know thus far, which the vlog will be more hyped uh, come the weekend because I have a lot of stuff planned this weekend. Um, but yeah, it's just because I wasn't going to say anything about this, but I'm not going to act. This is a documentation of my life, and therefore, I'm going to put everything in it. I haven't been feeling the best lately. I just haven't. I've just been feeling super demotivated and just not happy, so that's why there hasn't been very much footage. But hopefully, I'll get out of this slump soon and feel better and move on. That's the, that's the hope. Is that Indy 500? Yeah. Less than a month now. That'll make me happy. Kim was like, I feel like it's always zoomed in all the time on accident. Um, Shout out to the people at Shake Show. What's up? <laughs> yeah, you got it. We want to see a beautiful sight, mate. An empty gem. Love to see it. Uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm going to get this workout in. I haven't been feeling it. A mess. Anyway, I haven't been feeling it uh, this week, as you know, but I feel better getting in here and doing something about it than uh, not. Is there a stain on my shirt? There is. I think it's water. Anyways. Okay, that's it. All done. Um, nice being in here alone. It's a good place, alone. You know, I'm alone all the time anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, bye. It's Saturday. Uh, I'm going to Cars and Coffee. I look poor and homeless. Um, my car is dirty. I might stop and get it washed, you know. You know the deal. You know, I take this car to the wash all the time, too many times. Um, yeah. Well, we'll see. It's always so cool on Cars and Coffee to be driving and see a bunch of, a group, the group of cars that are clearly on the way to Cars and Coffee. We got a group of Porsches right up here. Um, beautiful. I love cars, so much fun. Okay, just got here. Um, I've been cruising with this group of cars right here. We just all end up meeting up on the highway. I don't know any of them, but car people are car people. And it don't matter, you know? That's what I love about the car community. Uh, but yeah, it's clearly fat because there's a there's a line, um, as you can see, behind me to get in. So, waiting, waiting, waiting. Let the car chaos commence. This is what I like to see. Cars everywhere. Best thing in the world. I'm a real YouTuber now. I got a, I got a freaking mic on here, thanks to Justin. This is this bozo I went to school with, so you know. Keep keep people around. Hello, it's editing me. Um, 
I have a confession to make. This vlog, this very part of the vlog, was supposed to have beautiful B-roll. I got all sorts of, well, I thought I got all sorts of beautiful B-roll, um, and I didn't. Uh, there's no excuse, but the times I made a extreme rookie mistakes. The times that I thought I was recording, I was not. Half, oh. half of the footage after looking at it, which I know, why don't you just look at it after you record it? Because I just didn't, okay? But uh, I went back and looked at it, and it's just the camera down here like this. Because it's just me walking. And it's terrible, um, and I'm very upset. But luckily, the most important part, the most special card we saw, um, I did get good footage of. So, anyways, back to the video. And whether they're good or bad, he was a terrible influence on me. Hey. So. I wasn't that bad. <laughs> Mate, we have climbed a Mount Eleven R. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. Wait, no, oh no, no, no! We've been, we've been bamboozled. Is it? It's not even an. It's not even a GT3. It's a regular 911 with a wing, without with the wing. Tail? So ducktail. I respect it. Different front bumper. It's got the GT3 seats, and then the GT3 front bumper. Blimey, cool. that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Drift missile. Drift missile. Just, I, I do appreciate every car here. Oh, absolutely. I really do. Look, a real Ford Bronco. Now, if you have a Bronco Sport, I am de-owning you. I think you're terrible. I think you kill children and drink their blood. I think you're an awful person if you have a Bronco Sport. But if you have this, God bless your and soul. It's a two -door too. And it's a two-door too. It's a real one. So this or a two-door Defender, what do you think? I'm going for the Bronco personally um, because American. You know? Yeah, he's patriotic. I'm extremely... Look at this view. Now this, you know, I think this is how cars should just come out the factory. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, honestly. This yeah, is how cars should just come out the factory. factory. Just roll it off. You know how much cheaper cars would be if they just say screw the front end and just let us have it out, you know? That's how it should be. And then you got this beautiful time attack front splitter going on here. I like it. 
Honda, golf on keeping Rick. Max Verstappen in the title fight. Listen, I'm, I'm just, yeah, we all know I'm an F1 whore, so every time I see any manufacturer that is involved in Formula One, I immediately relate it to Formula One. Just like how these bozos right here, Audi, are about to join Formula One, they're gonna do terrible. You know that? They're gonna do terrible, terrible job. This is nice. Okay, this is like, per this is my type of deal, because I love modded wheels, I love like aftermarket, blah, 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 cool, but just lowered on stock rims and like everything else stock, it's just clean. It's just clean and simple, especially this has an exhaust with a carbon fiber, uh, mirrors, yeah, this is it. And we all know, once again, like I've said, my car is for sale. If anybody wants to buy it, take it now. But um, this is what I want to replace it. I would absolutely take this. Let the Lord, like, I mean, just, so, this, uh, this is it right here. I think there is literally, people can be angry at me if they want, but there is, in my opinion, not a better car on sale right now. Now, and let me be more specific. It has a, as the duck, they took the regular ducktail off, and then put the GT3 thing on. Like a D-winged GT3 duck tail. So is this a Touring? It's a Touring, yeah. Because this is for sale. Um, now what I was saying was, this is the best car on sale within reason. Like that, some, that normal people can afford. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Hey, grande Machina! Forza da Fremeo! Got the Mercedes. McLaren Mercedes or Mercedes McLaren, whichever one you want to say, SOR. Um, now, not to be bougie or anything, but I've seen my fair share of these, so I don't get amazingly excited when I see one again. Uh, that sounds terrible. I don't hate cars, I love cars, but yeah. Okay, so supposedly um, there are seven Carrera GTs and a McLaren P1 in here. Uh, let's see if he's yeah, big cap or ruin. We're on the case now. There's a Mira. And a COK. Oh, he wasn't lying. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven ones in the back. <laughs> and there's seven. And there's a McLaren P1. McLaren doesn't get P1 these days, am I right? Boodoom Ching. I'm sorry, that was bad. Sorry, McLaren F1 team, we love you. <laughs> they got a P1 last year off of Pure Luck. Just hit a lick, guys. <laughs> Just hit a lick. Right, and there's Mercedes G-Wagon parts back there, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're out here. I'm a docu- This might be <laughs> the most rare career in the world. It is number 911 and the only one that's in signal yellow. Nice. Yeah, he forgot to charge his camera batteries. And I forgot to charge my camera batteries, so this is coming off my phone. But hey. Oh, man. Make sure your phone's set. Anyways, so my camera's big dead, as you know, as I mentioned in the last part of the vlog. But we're here at the IKEA because these, you know, these bozos are moving into a little apartment or whatever. So um, we gotta get. I look big and fat. Anyways, we gotta get stuff for their. Uh, well, Samuel's getting stuff. Which I might look to because I do need a side table. Okay, I know you've seen practically none of us doing stuff at IKEA, but it's because we've been running around like chickens with our head cut off. Because uh, qualifying is at four and it is currently three something. Um, and just trying to get in here and get out as quick as possible so we can get out for qualifying because IKEA is um, about 30 some minutes away from home. So, yeah. It's Sunday. It is time for the inaugural. Did I say that word right? Probably not. Uh, it's time for the Miami Grand Prix. I got the Mercedes on today. The good old my first this is the first F1 chair I ever brought, brought, bought, and I'm pretty sure I have worn it out. So. Right now, we're just getting the vibes right because we're we're supposed to be at the Miami Grand Prix and we're not. Yeah. So, 
Let's get it right. Yes, sir. Hey, show the drinks. Show the drinks. What do we got here? So janky. I'm using a measuring cup. So uh, right here, what you can see is it's called the Mexican Mule. It's tequila, ginger ale, and lime juice. All right, here we the go. The most fat, the most American we're mixed in drink Miami ever. Miami right now. Yeah, we're in Miami. 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 Yeah. Um, Starbucks, Coachella. I've actually never heard of F one before, but I know there's this guy named like Louis, like ha something like Hamble, Hamble. Ham I heard he's Serena Williams. He's, uh, he's, he's right black. black. That's all I know. Well, we gotta twerk first. Like what? <laughs> Wait, we didn't clink. Okay. Hold on, I gotta give my answer for my Instagram story. 22, we are here in South Florida for the Miami Dolphins. It was a car park, it's now nine to the right. Three DRS zones, as you can see. Drivers on the old numbered side of the grid, clean side, the racing line, get better starts. So what can science do to ward off the threats of Max Verstappen and how can Leclerc help? In 20th place, it's the first ever Miami Grand Prix. We're racing in the States and it's lights out. Away we go, it's a great reaction from Sean. Yeah, the initial launch from Carlos Sainz wasn't quite as good and he just couldn't get the momentum back and Verstappen very brave around the outside. Oh, Lewis Hamilton losing then a couple of places right at the start. It's Charles Leclerc who's won all four career wins from pole position who leads them away. Then Verstappen. Max Verstappen at the end of the first lap is accelerating away on this lap as he tries to get more than a second ahead of Verstappen by the time that the DRS is... Alright, the race is boring and over. Mercedes in the mud. Uh, actually, Ferrari in the mud. Bye. Okay. And that's the Miami Grand Prix done. Uh, my review out of 10, I'm going to have to go with a 4.5, maybe a solid 5. Uh, it was pretty boring. There was lack of overtaking. Um, and it just was a pretty eh race. You had the whole Lando Pierre situation. Um, which caused a safety car. Charles was starting to catch, but ultimately couldn't overtake. Um, the atmosphere itself, 10 out of 10, of course, but um, no, Siri. Anyways, the atmosphere itself, 10 out of 10, but the race itself, pretty freaking bad. Um, and also, as far as this week, that's all she wrote. So, um, this is the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you next week, of course. Love ya. Goodbye.